to do their kind of responsibilities. And one thing that I'm very conscious of in Walsall and working for a large public gallery is that we are programming two to three years ahead. And there are very strong programs that can be more responsive to each other, but often I'm quite kind of envious in a kind of artist run environment where maybe those like the programming can be a little bit more kind of responsive and spontaneous as well. So I'm not sure if you want to say something about that. Um, yeah, um, I mean, in terms of what she wrote is talking, I mean, because I'm fairly new at that, but I do, but working with Chris that we did work with, they would say, I'm planning the show. They would never know about They'd be planning the show for the space and people talk about that and what that was going to be. And they'd also talk about the fact that sometimes they're looking for artists that puzzled. And sometimes I think it would be somebody I wouldn't, you know, somebody that I may have shown with or some work I've seen. And I'd say, oh, have you thought about this person? And that happens sort of on a number of occasions. And just kind of um, saying, well, I think there's a few people that, are that might be appropriate. Um, as well, again, as an artist, I've worked with lots of different creators. And sometimes they also say things like, you know, do you know any other artists that are working in this medium? So more, sort of, I guess, assisting them in mean, a much more informal way. I mean, there's things in the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, no. um, um, see, everything I did fits into my practice. Um, my work itself is, is kind of interested in, in community and stories and identity. So, curating is a way of learning about how other people identify with that. So I think of it all as my practice. The actual physical side of making a painting, um, I still do on a weekly basis. Um, you know, and obviously with all of those things, it's about the prioritising of time um, and and having and trying to put aside some of that time. So for example, in the first year of core, I was there was, there was even more shows, and I'll try to produce it for next year, but um, I still sort of managed to group in a little bit. But, um, but sort of let, then sort of moving some of the curatorial aspects was an important part of that, so that I could get a bit more space, that I wasn't going really to be such the artist, and, and things like that, um, and gave myself time to, to make my work. I mean, it's something I feel I'm engaging in every day, and it, even in a conceptual way, even if I'm not physically doing it, it's something very much part of me, and that's why I said to being an artist, because that's the priority. Yeah, that's very much something. She's not necessarily to come with that agenda, but it's just quite a natural part of the thinking process. So, how do you start in the foot in the door if open shows are supposed to be with the foot in the door? If it's supposed to be an open arena? But it's, but it is. Well, yeah, I understand that, but then if, if it's been curated, I mean, how does somebody who has what we do now, what we do, you know, with education or something like that, then get the point of view. But they weren't selected because they were educated in London. They were, well, yeah, yeah, they were. I mean, I'm not talking about your yeah. shows, but other shows that I've seen, you often see the education and then maybe it's a kind of a kind of a kind the cynicism just starts to set in, just starts to realise, well, do I actually need to go to London, do my own, and I'm just like, yes. Do you mean where curators are chosen and which do you think No, it's just we have open shows of a lot of stuff that I've seen, a lot of, of artists have been down in London and in the UK. So it's always that thing before how do you, let's go back to basics, how do you get the thing? The thing is, it's each of our artists like that. I mean, <coughs> there are going to be people that went to North Ridge Bar or Goldsmiths. Um, because, um, but they're selected again in the quality of their work. And so whether that's kind of created through training or kind of through other avenues, I mean, it's not because they went to those places, but how, how they progress their practice and how they are best realising that practice and how they're actually, you know, even communicating that practice through photographs of their work. You know. um, I you Opt to approach other galleries as well at the same time. What's the etiquette behind that? You know, uh, is there any tension there? Or? No, well, I think you have to be honest and open. 
about your relationships with any gallery and curator that you enter into. And obviously, in public art space, you don't have an ex mm -hmm. um, exclusive relationship with them, they're there to kind of promote you. Um, and the commercial galleries I've shown you, I make it very clear that I am independent but, um, from the beginning um, because I'm not putting all my eggs in their basket. So, you know, I can't have just one show a year where many cells can work and rely on them to kind of nurture my practice in other areas or patronise me in some way. Um, so I think that's fine as long as that's been expressed. I mean obviously if you've got an exclusive agreement with one gallery and you want to move to another gallery that you know you need to handle that very well. Um, I mean hopefully they want you to grow and expand and show them that you just have on that to like yourself. Affiliated with it, so to speak. Um, yeah. I think it's just a sound. Yeah, I think that that's a good thing. Home your research and having your top 10 galleries. Yeah. Also, your top 10 galleries from now and your top 10 galleries in five years. And kind of trying to kind of work backwards on this. And looking at the other artists whose careers we've been mind, where they've started and where they've gone. Um, on which notes, uh, we've run out of time. Um, so, um, I just wanted to say, um, you know, obviously, I think one of the conclusions of this evening is it's about the art, and it's also about relationships. And um, so thank you very much. And thank you so much as well about all the work around the and the Can we all visit and say hello? <laughs> one thing that I just wanted to kind of finally say was that it's felt quite cold talking about CVs yeah. and applications. And, that's not really kind of how I see work. I, I meet people and I see artwork and I meet people at events like this and then I see them somewhere else. But I see them there and say hello. And quite, so it feels quite abstract for me talking about how I see and all these things on the paper and just talking about people and talking about things that we don't see. So I wanted to just kind of stress that. Yeah, hopefully that's kind of across, you know, it's the passion of art and artists. Thank you.